Hi, my name is Guy Wallace, and in this PAC video short, we're going to overview the PAC Processes Technology Transfer Process. PAC is an acronym, performance-based, accelerated, customer and stakeholder driven, training and development of any blend. In stage one, the project planning occurs for the entire effort to ensure that the costs are understood and the time cycles and time burden for all participants can be agreed to by all parties. In stage two, a CAD demonstration project is conducted in order to determine the adaptation and adoption requirements and capabilities and then those are made. In stage three, capacity is developed based on the number of practitioners required to support the organization's perceived workflow and workload. This involves both participation in the demonstration project of stage two as well as hands-on training for their roles in stage three. In stage four, the same is done for modular curriculum development and IAD, instructional activity development, which is a subset of MCD. A demonstration project is conducted in order to determine the adaptation requirements. Otherwise, it is adopted. In stage five, capacity is developed through formal training and coaching on the job in successive projects. This may or may not involve certification of capability of the PAC practitioners. There are, there are six levels to certification in the PAC processes. The goal for the vast majority of practitioners is to become a level three certified practitioner, which designates that you have the ability to go solo. Level one simply means that you've passed a knowledge test and you understand the PAC processes. Level two designates that you have demonstrated your ability to support a level three in their project efforts. For those clients who wish to deliver the workshops and coaching sessions themselves, that would take level three practitioners to a level four capability and certification. Master trainers, if you will, would be designated as a level five. And few and a few people may reach a level six where they are able to certify the level fives as well as extending the methodologies to other uses. More on that in other video shorts. I hope that this video short and the series have been helpful to you in helping you to establish a practice of performance-based training and development, learning, and knowledge management. I have been conducting, writing, and presenting on these methods since the early 1980s. My recent book, Six Pack, covers all of this in much greater detail.